afternoon out here in the garage listening to it sleet gotta love missouri i've uh i've saw rain sleet and snow in the last hour uh wind's been whipping around yeah Looks like the weather is going to get pretty wild for the next couple days around here. But I figured I'd come out here in the garage and and uh, where it's warm and have me a cigar. And uh, yeah, I'm smoking a Palma, Palma Game. There you go. Let's see what that is. But, uh, yeah, pretty good cigars. But, uh. What I really wanted to talk to you guys about today was uh, I, I done a video a while back. You guys can check it out. But uh, this is a uh, this is my uh, Cold Steel and Leatherman, and uh, like I said, I done a video on this about how handy it is on the farm. And uh, well, I've got this one. I got this one, and I also have this one. So I got two of these made up now. I've had this one made up for quite a while. This one seems to be my favorite go-to. It's the, the the blade is a little longer on the on the cold steel knife, and it seems like the uh, seems like the uh, Leatherman Super Tool 300 seems to just work a little bit better for the for farm stuff. So. So anyway, that's that's that one. This one is my uh, this one is my Gerber Prodigy knife. Came from Walmart, but uh, I can't even remember how much it is. It's less than a hundred dollars. I'll tell you that. But uh, it's a Gerber Prodigy. It's a stainless steel knife, black coating. But uh, they are made in. Portland, Oregon, made in the USA. It's right there. So, yeah, this knife's just a little shorter. Here, I'll show you. This knife is just a little shorter than my uh, SRK from Cold Steel. Just a little shorter. But, I, uh, this one does not have a glass breaker. This one's got a glass breaker. It's a little more tactical. So, the uh, the lanyard, I uh, I like to run a lanyard on some of my knives. Some of them I don't. But hold the knife just like this away from you. And I run my thumb through that lanyard. And as I bring that lanyard around, I'm twisting the knife also. Then it lays right in your hand. And you've got that lanyard to hold, to help help you hold the knife. You know, if, if you're just to do any stabbing or if you pull that lanyard back in between these fingers, then you got a wrist flicking action. You can do a little chopping or whatever you need it to do. So the lanyard really, really will help out on some knives. Now, if you go with a knife much shorter than this and any lighter than this, there's no need in a lanyard. But anyway, we got this one set up with this Leatherman. This is the... Leatherman OHT one handed tool. This one opens a little different. It's it's spring loaded. It uh I just put a little little lanyard on it there just so it's easier to get out of the sheath. But uh all the tools on it are uh are really short, but the reason why they call it a OHT is it's a one handed tool. I can open every tool on this with one hand every tool you know I, I I can get to them all so that that that's handy but every tool on it is really short because you have tools on each end you got tools here and you have tools here so therefore they're all your tools are a little shorter okay now let me get out this uh, super tool 300 now let me show you the difference. Okay, all these tools are on the inside. You have to open it like that to expose your pliers. Then all your tools are on the inside, just like any old school multi-tool. 
Now, let's see that. Here we go. Here's the main blade on this one. I'll close it back up so you guys can see. See how much shorter that is? I mean, that's that, that's that's a lot shorter. That's a lot less to a lot less cutting edge there. So that's why this one seems to find its home on the farm a lot a lot more than this one. But uh, they've also Leatherman has quit making this one because of the Leatherman Free series, the Leatherman, the new Leatherman Arc. They're all one-handed tools also, and they are a lot smaller. So therefore, they are. Uh, they're just more handy. They have a pocket clip, and you know, if you you try to chuck this big thing in your pocket, you've you've got a lot going on in your pocket. So, but I'm glad I I'm glad I own one. It, it works really good to to pair it with with some sort of a knife. And uh, the the tools on on both of them are are for sure usable. It's just that the tools on this. 300 are so much more heavy duty i mean this this plier head is not spring loaded like this one is but look at the difference in that plier head I mean, that plier head on this one it's just it's so much it's just so much it's got to be stouter it's just there's so much more material there and uh i've used this one working on fence and stuff it, it does it does okay but man this one's just <laughs> very heavy duty it works it works so much better cigars gonna go out cigar already went out sorry about that uh, little chunks of tobacco in there Yeah, I just wanted to I just wanted to show you guys what a, a couple of tools that definitely helps me out every every day on the farm. So they are uh they're definitely money well spent. Especially if you don't make them into safe queens and actually carry the stuff around and use it, you know. So these are both both of these knife blades are just about the same thickness, I believe. They're really close. But Anyway, I've got two of these kits made up, and uh, they're they're uh, and this one here, I've I've done them both the same way. I've got paracord, and this one has that little piece of uh, little piece of bicycle tubing just to kind of help hold it at the top, and this one has some the bicycle tubing in the middle, but just paracord, and I just lashed it on there. So that way, if I want to take it off, it's no problem to, to get it off to get them off there you know but uh yeah they're 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 just i just think they're really cool they help me out but get them put back together here yeah that the color scheme on that worked out real well too i don't know i think it looks good with the black and that coyote tan and then cold steel and the other one get it all together you know it's all black so they're uh they're just good heavy duty heavy duty pliers to have around and a good knife and just can't go wrong with a good knife for sure but uh yeah just sitting out here having me a cigar and playing with some uh two of my favorite things knives and uh knives and multi-tools so you uh hope everybody has a good rest of their day and uh i'm gonna sit out here and and uh sit out here and finish my cigar and then i'll uh Go have some supper here in just a little bit. But, uh, almost put it out again. Anyway, wanted to show you these. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys next time. We'll do something different.
I don't know what. We'll do something. All right, see ya. Yeah, I almost forgot to tell you guys. Uh, if you like my channel, you like what I'm doing here, different things on the farm, just uh, like and subscribe if you would. It helps me out, lets me know what kind of content is, uh, you know, I need to be putting out, see what people likes. And, uh, yeah, just if you would like and subscribe and hit that little bell notification icon so that way you get all every time you get a notification every time I, uh, I post a video. So anyway, thank you guys. We'll see you later.